Why Cat Williams was completely correct about the industry, y'all watch this video. Kevin told you he wasn't gonna wear no dress until they offered him the dress and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision, duh. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? You mean to tell me this man asked you if you ever decide not to be a man to call it like that and you was okay with that, you know? The time when you play a gay role is just to shut down black mis masculinity. It's to shut it down, to kill the alpha. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress. So Omar Gooding just stirred up some arguments on social media after claiming that straight black actors are pressured into doing gay roles as part of their contracts. Omar claimed that his career suffered because he refused these types of roles, and he called out actors who step on their principles for fame and money. And as you might remember, Omar isn't the first actor to talk about this. Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, and Terrence Howard all previously claimed that there's an agenda in Hollywood to humiliate black men. And while and honestly, man, Cat Williams has been saying this for years, but people want to put him in the category of crazy because he's been speaking out against the industry. There's nothing wrong with a black man trying to create opportunities of accomplishment and do better for himself. But it gets to a point in life where the integrity, the wholesomeness of your spirit is compromised because you're willing to do anything for money. Y'all watch this video of Cat Williams talking about Martin Lawrence. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know, we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. I almost died. <laughs> hey, a lot of times Cat Williams is speaking truth, but it comes out sounding funny. But he's speaking facts, man. Honestly, you see a lot of up and coming actors that have to either compromise their situation because they want to move up in Hollywood. And if they don't, you see something bad happen to their career or some type of scandal. But listen to what Ari Spears had to say about Cat Williams. Protect Cat at all costs. Knock it off. Keep it in perspective. This is a news cycle. That's all this is. It's a news cycle. This ain't curing cancer. This ain't nothing to protect nobody about. Oh, he, he shook up Hollywood. He exposed Hollywood. Ooh, he told the truth. What, what did, again, to me, this is pointless. What did he do? What did he change? He didn't change anything. Steve Harvey is still going to be Steve Harvey. The success, the fame, the money, the momentum, the adulation, the respect, the adoration from the fans is still going to all be there. Same thing with Cedric, same thing with Chris Tucker, same thing with Ludacris, same thing with Rhonda Sykes, same thing with me, same thing with Ricky Smiley. Everybody that he named will still go on. Nothing has changed. And you might be right to a certain extent. It didn't change a whole lot, but it gave the audience, it gave the world a perspective of Hollywood and it might help out any up and coming actors or anybody that's seeking to get these opportunities in Hollywood and not realizing what must happen and how you must compromise yourself to get some of these roles. You did it yourself and we have a video. Only got one man, and this be my man. When I say my man, you're really my man. Roll me the conceited meme. Wow. So you didn't put on a dress, but you kissed a man on camera. I'm trying to figure out what's the point or the purpose of that skit because it looked like a skit. But let hit, let's listen to him tell us why he did it. You kissed a man. Yes. Together. And my, my point of the parody was exposing uh, homosexuality and rap through all the thuggery and all the uh, macho bravado. Uh, that don't make no sense, right? So to expose the masculinity in Hollywood or try to deflect that rappers are not as tough as they make themselves seem, you go and kiss another man. I don't need no help. It's a nut you ever try to open the jaw of pickles by yourself? I just put my hand on the top. I don't even grip it. Just. That's y'all the pretty picture. 
you know, people try to hate on me because I'm strong. I am who I am. I ain't saying that. Never mind with strong black woman. Nothing wrong with strong. You ever made love to while I got my hand across your neck like this? And you pump, I just squeeze your neck. Wow, that escalated quickly, right? It gets to a point where you have a crossroad in your life. And a lot of people might have to deal with this in the future where you have to compromise your integrity for some monetary gain, right? It's the same thing with these OnlyFans women. They make these videos, these new things that they do for money for the moment, but they know later on in the future, they might regret it. And I think this is the situation when it comes to Cat William, he wasn't willing to compromise his integrity just to make more money. We see his career suffered a little bit, but he's still in a good place in his life. This is the last clip of him talking about Holly Weird. They canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> they pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. Man, that's one of the realest things he can ever say. If God is not in it, I don't want to be a part of it. Hollywood is definitely weird and you can see these celebrities are willing to compromise their integrity just to make more money. We're on the road to 4K, man. 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, like and subscribe now. This your guy, CEO Samuel. We out.